Again, this is about Kanban, the visual clues, the simple tiny little cards on the board that speed up action and you know increase uh, you know agility of the process as well as make uh, the work very diligent in a company. Utilized initially by Toyota but followed everywhere else. So let's have a learn about it. So it just begins from tiny board with few columns you know, work in progress, what's happening, and then whether it's complete, some tiny posters or other sticky notes pasted on it. In the modern era of communication, with a lot of digital uh, boards and the functions and everything, this looks pretty much 19th century, but this works, it works like none other. So that's one reason why virtually every top-notch company uses it. Just simple, so practical, and yes, it does uh, deliver the goods in amazing speed and fashion. Look at the cards, the board at the back, you can see. Requested, the work requested, work in progress, and work done. So the person uh, making the request might uh, select a color, either red, yellow, green, or blue, uh, you know, signifying the priority level for the particular work. Then, uh, the particular teams that has to respond to that would respond to it. Signifying, yes, how soon they will do it. Showing in progress. And once they've done it, yes. The done part will have the sticky notes pasted. But a board may have some information. Take a look at this. The withdrawal Kanban. That means, I mean, in the process, now the, in the line ahead, they need some material from the storage type. Then, uh, what we have is a withdrawal Kanban. There are various different other types of Kanbans as well. Withdrawal Kanban has this content. Print your stuff, the lot number, number sizes, how many, and uh, yeah, uh, which part that the Kanban would be taking it. So a lot of information will be there. So it's not just uh, a mere request, it will have. And there are other types of Kanban as well. Withdrawal Kanban, production Kanban, that means ordering production. Express Kanban, sending it fast, expedite. Through Kanban, that means, you know, it sends the uh, process through the things. And then the emergency Kanban, what you need as fast as possible. Take a look at uh, the terminology in Kanban. You have the Kanban board, the Kanban card, columns. Columns are what's coming down, right? Swim lanes, they'll be learning what that is. Cycle time, how fast the response does, is done by the company or other particular teams. Lead time, when the request is made, how quickly they react to that, respond to that. Throughput, yeah, how fast and speedily. And the work in progress. And of course, the limitations of the work in progress. You know, whatever that's demanded cannot be supplied by the company due to its practical limitations. So the managers might find out what's the maximum a team can respond to when the request is made. Take a look at the swim lane. It's something that goes along this line. We take a careful look, right? So when the demand is uh, made here, right? To do, scheduled, doing, and finally monitoring, and finally done. So the managers or the entire team, right? Could see the progress of it along the swim lane. Exactly where it is, exactly what's happening and how soon the responses are taking place. So just without having to waste your time on emails and the calls and the meetups and the walkings, you could just take a look at the board and see the progress of it because every team that's taking part in the process would be reporting to the board with a tiny simple uh, you know uh, card with the uh, details included so it just saves immense amount of time from the company for the company and then yes uh, that's the same lane and take a look at how toyota does it of the most efficient companies in the world, undoubtedly the world's most uh, prolific automaker, and they use Kanban everywhere. Take a look at uh, number three. Nothing is moved in Toyota without a Kanban. That's how serious Kanban is for Toyota, the company that brought in Kanban in the first place. 
that was decades ago. The company still uses it. Up and down the total lines, right across, uh, you know, the geographies from one plant to the other within the plant. Kanban that make Toyota, you know, save seconds, nanoseconds, speed up the processes, and check, double check, uh, you know, uh, actions and conduct along the line. Simple board is still what uh, is highest highest value of Toyota to the Toyota actually. And let's take a look at the supply element, right? So why would you, you know, kind of why would a company like Toyota or any other company, right, would value this much? It's so simple, so easy. It's visual communication it doesn't cost a thing and it's so fast. And you can get to know in real time what's happening, what's going on. And yes, it contributes to prevent shortage and excess. Nothing as effective as Kanban has been made by, you know, the corporate operations, you know, before or since. Such a simple process, but it has no parallel when it comes to the efficiency and diligence of it. Yeah, just an example, right? Imagine that we are a worker, imagine that I'm working in a, okay, perhaps a restaurant, I'm at the service end, right? Delivering, uh, you know, the baked products to the customers. So imagine my Kanban, right? Imagine that, okay, I have a certain amount of baked products uh, available at the delivery point, the showcases, and I may need some more. What do I do? Yeah, when I, let's say I used to have 10, uh, you know, uh, what you call as uh, Vienna ones or cocoa ones, and now I'm down to two. So it's high time that I order some more, right? I place the order on the board. By pasting a card on the board, writing down the, the number I mean, maybe 10 more. Then, yeah, the bakery would get to know the message. They would see my message. So then what? They'll quickly respond. Whether it can be done, no, cannot be done. And they might uh, even put how soon it will be done. So when they can do it, they'll post a doing note onto the board, so I don't have to waste my time talking and all that, right? Quickly, the work can get done. And then, yes, the board will indicate whether and where uh, or how fast my request for uh, the pastries is happening, buns happening, right? So it's such an easy process uh, where the work gets done. I've seen this process in a couple of uh, restaurants in Sri Lanka, actually. A typical Sri Lankan restaurants have to shout and scream from the cashier to the back, right, uh, to where the kitchen is. But the Kanban helps, uh, you know, speed up the process without having to shout and scream. And not just within house, right, not just in house. Kanban can be used uh, beyond the plant as well, beyond the company as well. We use electronic Kanbans now. That's one way to do it. Yeah, definitely, right? Zero the inefficiencies. It does, because a company can find out their parameters. What's the maximum can we do? What's the speediest we can deliver? Right? How fast, how soon? Kanban would let us uh, figure out and find out because this will not result in ex excess production. And this will identify not to create shortages in production because the people ask for the, uh, you know, a Kanban when the requirement is there, when the need is there. You don't ask for excess. If I need only 10 Viana buns, I won't be asking for 50. So then there's no waste in production. So that's the thing, right? So, uh, and you might identify, right, uh, everything I might need the others may not be able to supply. So I might I might be able to find out, you know, what the maximum is. Two bin Kanban, two types of Kanban. So the one is two bin and the other one is the three bin. This is something that we may see in a bakery, right? How much is needed, right? I may, you know, put the request in the, uh, what you call the, in, the, in the basket itself and send it back, back. So the people at the bakery would know how much is needed and when and they immediately supply it uh, as soon as possible and send it back, do it and done. It's possible to see a three 
bin Kanban system when you know what I need is requested from the supplier and not just me, some other points in my company also. So the supplier gets continuous uh, information and then the supplier uh, would, uh, once the supply is done, they would hand, he would hand over the content to the stores in the company, my company. And then from my stores in the company, I can get uh, the delivery to various workstations uh, where I'm, and my workstation also will be able to get it. So this is a three bin system. Again, uh, you know, the request is uh, normally posted in the basket itself. Or maybe it could be in an electronic Kanban as well. So uh, this is a possibility. Uh, Taking point, uh, you know, uh, something like, let's say, uh, okay, a supermarket. Supermarket manager uh, might identify that there's sudden shortage of, sudden need of a certain, let's say, milk powder packets uh, because some people have bought uh, a higher number. So then he would immediately send a request uh, to the, let's say, the supplier. That means normally the supermarket may maintain a district or regional store storage. Uh, they would not store everything in the supermarket itself. The message will be going there. And then uh, from the storage to the uh, back house in the supermarket, the content will come. And then from back house, uh, the manager may get the content into the supermarket. So it could work. We call it a three-way compound. In many, many production facilities, right? If you look carefully, you would see this kind of, uh, you know, movement of uh, work, movement of uh, products uh, happening without people having the need to shout and scream and send messages, emails, and, uh, you know, uh, such uh, modes of communication, just a simple card passed, you know, is able to do the trick. Yes. There are two types of Kanbans. One is T Kanban, the other one is a P Kanban. P means a production Kanban. That means, you know, I need to, that's it. for example, what I sent to the bakery for Vienna's, Vienna buns for cocoa buns is a production Kanban. I want something to be done for me, produced for me. Transportation is a forward Kanban. That means, I mean, delivering the finished product from one end to the other. That's a transportation Kanban. So what I uh, require from them is a production Kanban. So when they finish it up upon this, when they send it forward, yeah, you can call it a transportation. E-Kanban has come. Electronically, we could do it. In one supermarket, I have seen it. Uh, supermarkets have been, the, uh, sorry, I'm sorry. The bakery, uh, bakeries are the ones that I've seen very effective use of Kanban. There's one I know um, where typically they make uh, quite a number of big products such as submarines. So I go to uh, the cash point and I make the request. Or oh, when I eat the food there, I could uh, give my request to the waiter, then waiter and Waiter goes and give it to the person at the cashier. Cashier, rather than kind of shouting out instruction to the, I mean, um, what you call the backside bakery or uh, the kitchen, he just types up message, types up, uh, you know, the requirement, uh, you know, in a message in the computer. And immediately that gets flashed in the uh, bakery. So the folks at the bakery knows what's needed when. So my cashier would require, cashier normally adds up exactly when it's needed. And uh, then the bakery gets to see and the bakery responds, okay, doing. So without having to go up and down and you know shout and scream, the cashier gets to know exactly when the order can be satisfied. And uh, so it, it helps up, uh, you know, efficient delivery system for one into the other what you call the production and the other from that end to the other, the transportation. So the waiters don't have to be hurried. You don't have to, you know, push the bakery too much or the canteen to the kitchen too much to get things done too fast. So at their maximum efficiency, efficiency uh, the process can happen. A very efficient system. An electronic Kanban, right? There may be a, what you call as a QR code and where the processes may take uh, across 
couple of factories, maybe different areas of the factory, might even be in different geographical locations, right? Where the companies or different places in the factory or the company respond to the same message, electronically given. So this is not within the visual range, this is beyond the visual range. So, um, you know, the movement of goods would happen uh, without the, you know, the problems and the difficulties in, uh, you know, the communication with other means. It's a car to do it. Yeah, it's part and parcel of the ERP systems also, right? Especially the manufacturing industries, as they say, follow the system. And yes, yeah, Kanban is a case of change management. What's mean a change management? You know, changing the existing process. Because Kanban help us continuously to expedite and you know do the work more diligently, more efficiently. So yes, that's change management. And yes, not just the production, it could be supporting service as well. So uh, lead service delivery, lead change management, right? Uh, Kanban help us to be more efficient. And what is change management? Yeah, what am I doing now? And uh, you know, uh, I mean, these tiny, tiny steps along the way uh, helps me to make those steps better, make those functions better rather than, you know, a company-wide change. It helps me to change place to place, from position to position, right throughout the chain. One, one part of the chain, one, one, one workstation to the other. If I kind of work about the entirety of the thing, it could be difficult and it will result in meetings, uh, workshops, seminars, all these trainings. But this method helps the team to kind of optimize their performance. Service delivery, what is it? Now, the customer matters, and yes, how much the customer needs it, right? I need to manage my work. I have to continuously review. For example, let's say I suddenly need uh, 10 cocoa buns at my delivery point, so that's the customer need. So I need my product to be delivered from the bakery because I ran out of content here. So how soon can the bakery kind of satisfy my request? How many minutes would they need? I can find out, right? By regularly reviewing it, I know how efficient they are when I make up an urgent emergency request. Kanban practices. What are they? Just, yeah, helps visualize, yeah, see what's happening. Not just the managers, everybody gets to see that. And yes, what's work in progress means, you know, when a request is done, um, you know, we'll immediately respond to it. So, and we'll make sure that the work is done as early as possible. So it might help the work teams, right? Who has to, you know, answer to this request to finish their work faster. So it will reduce the work in progress. So that means a request would be delivered faster. This might help you to manage your flow. You know, no workstation can satisfy every request. So it might help uh, the managers, the team, the company to identify the maximum capacities, the abilities of different, different, different workplaces. So to not to create uh, too much attention, not to create bottlenecks. They would know what to order and how to order and when and how speedily the process can happen. It's a simple board will help everything. And it's a feedback loops. What's the meaning of that? I order, they say the work has been, work, work is accepted and the work, work is in progress and the work is done. So I can check how speedily it has come. So then I can give the feedback, right? Can it be done faster? So the, rather than entire company, all the employees looking at the feedback level together, you know, station to station, and the comp uh, in the inside the company, they could work on collaborating, improving their performances without having massive meetings and all that. Yeah. Can you use Kanban in project management? Definitely, yes. I've seen Kanban functions in any construction site where you, know, you have the tools and the machinery and uh, material located at one place. So in different, different, different places of the production facility, it is a heavy uh, tourism hot tourism related uh, construction project need the stuff the deliveries are done uh, by the stores very efficiently the kanban thing a board is there which is visible to everybody no one's talking so 
when each workstation is needing some content within the next hour, all right, the message is put and then the message is related to the storage. So uh, within minutes, the delivery point is, uh, you know, activated and the needed uh, location is supplied with the content, whether it's uh, nails or the, you know, the whatever, right, hammers or, you know, various other stuff. Quick supplies that so that uh, the different workstations don't have to stack up and pack up the things that they need at the place where the work is happening. So they can only get it when they need it. So it helps them. Right? Workflow. Right? Through the project, right? I mean, normally in a company, there are three levels. Portfolio is the company level, the board of directors downward. Program is normally at the senior management level. Projects are various, various... Uh, projects that come under the control of the uh, programs. For example, if I say, uh, imagine the principal is at the portfolio, so he might decide the policy for the entire school. Program could be the section heads. And then the teachers, the teacher, I mean, se separate, uh, you know, the classroom teachers would be having various projects to be carried out. So, well, I have seen this in a school long time ago, uh, you know, the uh, vice principal sets the requirements for the week uh, in a board in his uh, office. Uh, then the section heads, uh, when they normally see that in the morning, uh, you know, they uh, relay the information to the uh, teachers. And when the teachers are going about it, teachers relay the message to the vice principal's office, being done, happening. And when the work is done, again, the message is relayed through the section heads. So the vice principal would know whether the decisions that has been taken to do has been achieved by the weekend. Fantastic project. I have seen it many, many years ago. Those days I did not know what Kanban was, but I still remember the board maintained by the vice principal. Yeah, to help identify the blocks and the risks and you know whether the request can be activated, right? Kanban, you know, when you do Kanban for a while, the request is something that can be done. Impossible requests are never done in Kanban because the person who makes the order is fully able to identify the capacities of the delivery point. So they would never ever make up an impossible delivery. Imagine that I make up an urgent uh, cocoa bun request from my bakery. If I do it, I do it only because I know that they can do it fast to an electric oven. If I know that they can't do it, I would not make the order. Is that so what's possible only happening through the Kanban, not what's impossible. So everybody knows each other's capacities. So that helps a smooth flow of things, proper execution. And yes, easy for monitors, monitoring to be done by the managers. Two, yeah, better lead times. Lead time is how fast we can respond to that. Cycle time, okay. When one delivery is done for the other delivery, how long will it take? Anytime block any other, any, other, any other location, that means I make a request, but the request is not activated fast enough because the delivery point is busy satisfying other requests. So you can find it out. And identify the efficiency challenges as well. And just where is the waste happening in this request to check it up and immediately take action uh, to prevent it. Continuous feedback, definitely. That happens. So. I make a request and how fast I got the request. Is there a delay in the request? Why is this delay in the request? So did I demand too much or should I be demanding less? Or, or, or were they kind of uh, having other, uh, you know, you know, demands to be made there? I can see in the board, right? When I say whether the delivery point has other demands from other points. I can get to know so much of information when I look at a Kanban board. So that because I can see it, right? So I I also have a duty in myself not to push the Kanban on uh, deliveries, not to push the Kanban on the transportation level. So it's kind of, in a way, there's a little bit of a self-control also. Uh, making the functions happen far more efficient. So this simple board of to do, doing and done is one thing that has brought the world, uh, you know, into a completely different level in uh, the 21st century. And yes, it might live into the next century and beyond as well. Catch you in another lesson.